Welcome to Tech Learning. Today, we will explore something that's revolutionized the automation system. PLC, or Programmable Logic Controllers. Whether you are an engineer, technician, or just curious about industrial automation, this video will give you a solid foundation about the PLC. Alright, let's start with the PLC basics. A PLC or Programmable Logic Controller is an industrial computer. In simple words PLC can be defined as an industrial computer that monitors input devices and controls output devices based on the status of input devices and a user-developed program. How does a PLC work? A typical PLC follows a simple four-step cycle. Step 1. Reading inputs. It reads the status of all input devices, like sensors, switches, valves, push buttons, pumps, or other process parameters. Step 2. Processing logic. The CPU runs the logic based on the user-written program stored in its memory. Step 3. Diagnostic communication. In this step PLC checks all the communication associated to the PLC system. Step 4. Writing outputs. Finally, the PLC activates output devices, like motors, lights, or valves, based on the processed logic or PLC program. These four steps are continuously repeated. Advantages of PLC system. PLCs are the brain of modern automation systems, playing a critical role in industries. Flexibility and programmability. Unlike traditional relay-based systems, PLCs can be reprogrammed for different tasks without altering physical wiring. Efficiency. PLCs replace hardwired relays and timers, significantly reducing the complexity and physical size of control systems. Reliability. Designed to operate in harsh environments, PLCs can withstand temperature extremes, vibrations, and electrical noise, making them more reliable than traditional systems. Ease of troubleshooting. Advanced diagnostic tools and real-time monitoring help identify and fix issues faster, minimizing downtime. Integration with other systems. PLCs can be easily interfaced with other systems, such as SCADA, DCS, HMI and other PLC networks for comprehensive system control. Scalability. PLC systems can be easily expanded. This scalability allows for growth in system complexity and future expansion without the need for complete replacement. Real-time control. PLCs provide fast, real-time control, making them suitable for applications where timing and synchronization of processes are critical. Data logging and reporting. PLCs support the collection and storage of data, which can be used for performance monitoring, diagnostics, or even reporting to higher-level systems, providing useful insights into operational trends. Enhanced safety. PLC systems can monitor and control safety systems to prevent dangerous situations in industrial environments. They can automate emergency shutdowns or respond to safety sensors to mitigate risks. Cost-effective, PLCs provide long-term savings by reducing maintenance costs, minimizing downtime, and allowing for faster troubleshooting. Let's see the key components of a PLC. The first component is the CPU or Central Processing Unit. CPU is the brain of the PLC where all the processing is done. CPU runs the user-written program or logic. This program is stored in CPU memory and can be modified according to the process requirements. CPU also performs the necessary diagnostics and manages communication with other devices. I.O. Module I.O. Module or Input-Output Module are essential components of a PLC system. They provide the interface between the PLC CPU and the field devices. Types of I.O. Module There are two types of I.O. Modules. Digital I.O. Module and Analog I.O. Module. Digital I.O. send a receive, on, off or true-false signals, such as a switch being open or closed. While Analog I.O. send or receive continuous signals that vary within a range, such as temperature or pressure readings. Power Supply the power supply in a PLC system plays a critical role in ensuring the reliable operation of the entire system. 
Power supply provides the necessary electrical energy to the PLC CPU, I.O. modules, communication modules and other connected peripherals. Most of the PLCs operate on 24 volts DC. The power supply unit converts AC power to the required level of DC power. Next component of a PLC system is communication ports. Communication ports are hardware interfaces that allow the PLC to connect and exchange data with other devices or networks, such as HMIs, SCADA systems, or other PLCs. Some common communication ports are RS-232, serial port, RS-485, serial port, Ethernet port, CAN bus, and field bus ports. Programming device. The programming device is essential for configuring and maintaining PLC systems, enabling operators and engineers to design automation programs. A computer or terminal can be used as PLC programming device. PLC programming languages. There are five PLC programming languages. The most commonly used PLC programming languages are ladder logic or ladder diagram. This is the most popular and oldest PLC programming language. Ladder diagram is a graphical language resembling electrical relay diagrams. Function block diagram. Function block diagram is also a graphical programming language that uses function blocks to represent the control system's logic. Structured text. Structured text is a high-level, text-based programming language similar to traditional programming languages like Pascal, C, or Python. Popular PLC brands. Several PLC brands are widely used across various industries. Some popular PLC brands are Siemens, Allen Bradley, Mitsubishi Electric, Schneider Electric, ABB, and Honeywell. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on more tips and tutorials. If you got any questions, drop them in the comment section. Keep learning.